Hello guys and welcome to Extreme Droid. I'm your host Samir and finally Xiaomi had released the stable version of much awaited Android Marshmallow for Xiaomi Mi 4 which is based on latest MIUI 7.2. So in this video I'll be talking about how the ROM is performing and is it stable enough to use it as your daily driver. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing which we probably expect from any new Android version is the looks. But unfortunately the looks of this ROM is exactly similar to the previous stable version of MIUI which was based on Android KitKat. But yeah, there is some sort of improvement in animations. Now let me show you that it is running on latest Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 and this is the Chinese stable ROM. Nowadays the major concern of every user is the battery performance. And I am really glad to say that the battery performance in this ROM has been significantly increased. Maybe the reason behind this is the dose mode of Android Marshmallow. I am getting about 5 to 6 hours of screen on time with normal usage, which is more than what I expected. Moving forward to some of its features and improvement in this ROM. There are lots of improvement in this version like cleaner app can now clean the files more deeply. The design of file manager has been improved and it has a new feature to hide your folder which will improve your privacy. The sound quality has been drastically improved. The speaker quality is brilliant but in headset there is some sort of noise. You can check out this sample. At last there is a new feature called Mi Mover which is actually a very useful feature. If you are changing your Xiaomi device then by just one click you can move your whole data to a new device. If you want to check out what are the newly added features in MIUI 7.2 then you can just click the above link. I had made a separate video on that. Now at the end I will talk about the camera performance because many of the users are quite concerned about the camera. Unfortunately, there is nothing new in the camera app. It's just same as the previous one. But I feel that there is slightly improvement in the focusing time and shutter speed of the camera. So guys, I think you should try this ROM because I am testing this ROM since 3 days and it's almost stable. I did not find any major bug on this and in my opinion Chinese stable ROM is better than global version in terms of performance. So I will suggest you not to wait for its global release. If you want to know how to install Google Apps on any Chinese ROM then just click the above link. So that's all for today guys. If you like this video then do hit the like button. And for more future updates subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video.